So on Monday I have the thing with the doctor, and then tomorrow we have Branson's soccer practice. Are you taking him or mine? Don't don't forget we have Bible study. Is that this week or next? Which group is it? And, and what are we doing for dinner? Wait, was I supposed to get groceries? I did not get groceries. Okay, I'll get kids happy meals. Do you want a happy meal? I'm gonna get a happy meal too. Now where are the keys? What's on that? Are you, are you okay? Whew, I'm strung out, man. I've got, I got the strong challenge going on five, t five times a week, 20 minutes a day. I got work. I got my family to take care of. I just dropped my kids off, and I was late to the bus, and that didn't work out well. Man, I'm going 1,000 miles an hour. Jeff, maybe it's time that you just take a rest. Rest. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you the rest coach for this week? I think I am. Man, Strong Challengers, we are in for a treat. It is time for us to relax, to rest. I'm with my good friend and our Y coach for the week, Josiah Brock. Josiah is a longtime leader for the YMCA, but also the guy knows how to chill. Um, and by that I mean she's going to be a father soon. He just got recently married. Congratulations, by the way, to both of those. Thank you, thank you. Um, he is uh, buying a house. He works so hard for the community and for the YMCA, yet he's always got this just chill presence that you just want him to be around because he relaxes you just being around him. What do you do, and how do we find more rest in our lives? Well, first, I want to say this couch is ridiculously comfortable, <laughs> and so that's absolutely helping all of us to kind of <laughs> relax here. So number one, get a comfy couch like this one here. <laughs> that's right. Okay. But here's some things that I do. Uh, one, I get pretty good sleep. Um, I pray and I meditate. Okay. So let's, let's break these things down. Let, let's, let's unpack them for everyone at home, and I'll share with you what the experts are actually saying about each of these areas. That sounds, sounds good. 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 All right, cool. So let's, let's start with sleep. Now, sleep is important. Sleep can help you reduce stress. Sleep can help you lose weight, actually. Did you know that? That's awesome. You can lose weight by sleeping. So who, who, who's ever said you can't lose weight by sleeping? They're lying. You can. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. Yeah. Sleep can actually help you with your memory. Wow. Those are good stuff. Okay. So talk to us a little bit about meditation and prayer. So meditation can help you with your emotions. Meditation can help you to be more self-aware of what's going on around you. And meditation can help you to be more present in the moment. Prayer. Talk to us a little bit about that. Okay. Let's go back to the emotions thing. Okay. So prayer can help you to humble yourself. So it helps you to have a positive uh, outlook on life. So that can really help your emotions when you pray. Uh, praying can actually help you uh, have a longer health span. And prayer is actually good for your heart, not just your physical heart, but the heart on the inside, the inside part, the inside man. So it's good for both parts of your heart. So now you've got some challenges to throw down to this group this week around rest. What are they? Absolutely. And so these challenges are geared to help make you to be strong in mind, body, and spirit. And I, I think that you kind of highlighted that. And I want you to know that first, we have some cool uh, tools to help you along the way. And you can access these tools on the website and on the app. Okay, so now to the challenges. Challenge number one. Okay, this is your challenge if you choose to accept it. I want we accept. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to find uh, two times this week, just for 10 minutes a piece, where you totally unplug and you do nothing and you just rest. Let your mind rest. Okay. So you're going to find two times this week, 10 minutes a piece just to rest. Think you can do it, Jeff? Yeah. So wait, can we think about all of our schedules and our lives and nothing? During... Wait, what about if we have to think about? That's not resting. So 10 minutes, totally don't think about anything, just focus on our breathing? Yeah. That sounds impossible, but we can do this. I believe in us. 10 minutes minimum, we're going to do this as a team. What's the other part of the challenge? Now, part two to the challenge, part one will get you ready for part two, okay? Part two, you're going to find one day, and you can choose any day that you like, okay? You're going to clear your calendar. You're going to go find your most comfy sweats that you got, the ones with holes in the bottom of them that you don't show people when they come over. And you're just going to relax and rest on that day. Do nothing. Veg out. So if I want to take three naps in one day, that's okay? You should be taking five. Oh, <laughs> a five nap day. I like that. Five of them. Oh, man. So the importance of just a day per week that we do nothing. Man, Josiah, you gave us some great info today. You've made us feel relaxed. I think it's time that we do the honorary. I told you this couch is the best. It's the most <laughs> unbelievable couch in the world. It's a great couch. It's got, you got, you can do your neck, you can do your back. 
If you got the recliner, you need to press the button. You need to pull the lever. It is time this week to just chill. <laughs> Remember the importance of rest. Have a great week, y'all. See you later. Rest. Rest. <laughs> <laughs>